was that if we get him to move smoothly, he becomes something that you can engage and relate to. Uh, and the reason we learned that was in Pomona, between the drone racing and the sumo bots and everything else, the, uh, the Wi-Fi was so noisy that I didn't have a strong signal, so he ended up glitching out. And the moment he behaved like a robot, people lost interest and walked away. But by uh, grabbing these XY coordinates on this pendant with some clever animation, you can get some very, very realistic movements that are, are engaging, which is one of the things I think you're seeing in the CES spots. Uh, the mechanics of this are very straightforward, except in the bots in CES. It's the aesthetics, the software, that will allow you to that suspension of disbelief, that ability to relate and interact meaningfully with uh, what is just a machine. So uh, for right now, he's, he's a platform. He's thousands of hours of effort um, spent building something interesting that we can use as a basis to learn more about robotics. So from the soft skills like smooth movements allow people to relate to it. Uh, and with uh, the Ross platform, we can now start to integrate additional small behaviors or, or skills. The next step for me is to leverage the stereo vision and the connect vision camera to do object identification and localization.